Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the Aviators channel. We're, uh, actually I'm getting ready to go mess around for a little while. Uh, wanted to show, want to answer some of the questions that people ask me, you know, when they find out I fly a Bonanza. Um, mostly morbid questions about doctor killers and things like that, but also, you know, what it costs to fly one of these things. Flying Lena Peak, which I don't do very often, but I'm going to start, um, you know, performance, stuff like that. So, uh, welcome and uh, enjoy the video. Goofing off today. We do that. Front range ground, Bonanza 18368. I'm holding short at Alpha 7 for a 26 departure. I've got the current ATIS information, Bravo, and I'll be uh, east out of the pattern. Bonanza calling front range ground, runway 26, taxi via alpha, copy east, dial the pattern, say again, full cars on. Uh, Bonanza 18368, front range ground, uh, clear via alpha to, uh, 26. Front range tower, runway 26, cliff take off, right turn out. Here we are, really nice afternoon of flying here. I uh, thought I'd answer some, uh, some questions that find out I fly a uh, Bonanza. The first thing they always say is, wow, you fly one of those fork tail doctor killers. I always say, I'm not a doctor, so I'm good, right? But, uh, you know, the ba Bonanza really did does get kind of a bad rap about that. They, uh, you know, you had a lot of inexperienced pilots that got into these airplanes and, and really didn't fly them by the numbers. And when you're flying a, you fly them by the numbers. And so when people didn't do that, they got themselves in trouble and all sorts of bad things happened. So, you know, I like mine. And for me, I mean, I'm not a great pilot or anything like that. So, you know, take it in the spirit in which I'm saying this. But I, uh, you know, for me, my transition was really pretty easy. I uh, flew a lot, of, flew a mall for a lot of years, flew Super Cubs, Cessnas, you know, Cessna 150. I was flying from Aurora Air Park, uh, which is now no more, to uh, to Front Range Airport to do touch and goes, and uh, you know, I saw this B tail blaze by me, like I was sitting still, and I thought, you know, that is a cool airplane. Now fast forward all these years later, and here we are. And it's still a cool airplane. I spent a lot of time in tail draggers, and so, you know, once you can get used to the more complex avionics, once you get used to returning and being diligent about a clothes list, you know, once you can do those things, It was a great airplane. I got nothing bad to say about it, but you know, I ended up getting rid of it because I just couldn't stay proficient landing. I one time counted all the landings I had in that mall, and it was when I sold it, it was well over a thousand. Just nervous landing it when I delivered it to the new buyer, as I was the very first time I landed it. So, you know, for me, it, I just couldn't stay proficient in it. When I landed this bonanza. I was like, holy cow! That's a different cup of tea right there. You know, it's easy to ask me. You know, it's, it's not hard. Now, training is really important. So I tell people, get an instructor that, uh, you know, that really knows bonanzas and, and, and teach you, you know, what you need to know to, to fly these safely. And it's mostly from people who've never even been in a bonanza. Wow, characteristics on those are deadly. And I'm like, huh? You know, they say, oh, it's got a tendency to flip over. You know, to roll over. All the times I've stalled this airplane, I've never even once had it demonstrate any kind of tendency to want to drop a wing. Um, I can tell you, you know, it's a pretty easy plane to stall. Um, power on stalls, power off stalls, clean stalls, dirty stalls, however you want to stall this thing. It's really a pretty, 
You know, it's pretty easy. It's I would, you know, equate it to a, a Cessna. You know, I do this to a Cessna a lot, and it's because it's the, you know, it's what most people fly in, you know, train in it, are Cessnas. I'm looking for a Cessna 182 RG um, and a Cirrus. And it's a long story how I ended up with this plane, but uh, God, those are great airplanes. You know, I mean, gosh, they're just they're just outstanding. So I got nothing bad to say about uh, about Cessnas. You know performance of this airplane. Well, right now uh, I'm doing, I, I, I typically fly it at about 20 inches of manifold pressure. Never really deviate. Um, you know, when you, and I should also mention that that, at those 155 knots, 2300 RPM, I'm usually at about 11 or 12 gallons an hour. So, it's a good kind of rule of thumb detail. And, I, and I'm like, you know, the only perceptible difference between this airplane and flying any other airplane is there's a little bit of tail lag. And in other Bonanzas, I've flown straight tail Bonanzas, they have the tail lag too. So I, I don't think it's unique to V-tails. But there's definitely, you know, I typically fly with one foot on the rudder, and I don't even notice it anymore. So, you know, the only way I can tell that I'm flying in a, a plane other than a is that little bit of lag. And obviously it's faster. There's more room in here than in a Mooney. I don't know if you guys have ever flown Moonies, but uh, they're a, a great airplane too. Um, another thing people have to maintain an airplane. How much? How expensive is it? And uh, maintenance that uh, you know doesn't have to be done right then and there. Um, I say a lot. I, I don't know if it's a lot, but you know I, I've heard other pilots say they seen deferred maintenance and logbooks that I, of airplanes I was going to buy. And uh, if there's any kind of issue, whatever it might be, I have it taken care of. So my annuals are probably a little bit more expensive than other people's for how much I fly. Uh, and I fly more cross-country than any general aviation pilot I know. So uh, the year before that, it was more expensive. I had some uh, work done that didn't need to be done, but I wanted it done, and so, uh, you know, I think that annual was uh, like 4500 or 5000 5500 something like that. Fly and operate an airplane safely, you should, you know, be a member of a, you know, one of those flying clubs and, and you know, let them do the maintenance for you. And I think it's because they read it about Bonanzas, is uh, center ground for older details, uh, or any V-tail that's had a lot of work done, typically they leave a lot of junk in the tail. I don't, I don't understand that. So, you know, I had an avionics um, upgrade done on this airplane, and uh, they took 40 pounds of stuff out of the tail of the airplane, and that created a, you know, that moved my CG forward almost an inch. I had. Now I can use all 1,300. So there's some truth to that. You need to be very careful uh, how you load particularly towards the rear of, of this plane, and that's true with a, a straight tail bonanza as well. So I think that's kind of it. Um, those are kind of the top, and so those are my bottom five answers. So uh, I typically fly this thing. Um, you know, a little bit rich, but um, I usually fly by uh, CHTs and EGTs uh, in terms of mixture. I try to keep my only had temperatures around 320, 330, and my EGT is around 1250. But everybody's telling me that I'm about to explode my motor doing that here as I uh, begin to clean this mixture. What we're doing here is we're uh, flying. We're gonna. We're starting out how I typically fly it. So I'm at 20 inches of manifold pressure, 2300 RPMs. These are my EGTs and my CHTs. You know, 340s, and then uh, kind of 1300 on the uh, on the uh, exhaust gas temperature. So now I'm, what I'm doing is I'm starting to lean this thing out, and I'm going to lean it out and let it get up to let, you know, turn it a little bit, it just a little bit to see what happens with the EGTs. Let those stabilize there. Stable, so I'm gonna 
Okay, now I can feel the engine running a little bit rough there. Okay, so... So that would be Lena Peak right there. And right now I'm only using 9 gallons an hour. And my EGTs are good and my CHTs are good. Anyways, all right, that's Lena Peak. Thanks for hanging out with me today. This is probably my shortest video yet. Still yapped a lot, but I don't know. If you guys uh, like this sort of thing, like, subscribe, comment, you know, all that stuff. All right, till next time.